folks, let's talk about inflation. As we have seen in, in the recent economic data in the U.S., inflation is, is pretty much under control. However, inflation is a sleeping giant, as we all know, and it would probably be awakening sometime soon. So it would probably be prudent for us to review our retirement portfolio and income portfolio to make sure that you, that you are not caught off guard. Inflation defined basically means that prices of goods and services are rising while purchasing power is falling. In a nutshell, too much money chasing too few goods. Now, scarcity of goods could come for several reasons, but one of the things that you really have to know is that at the end, your money buys less stuff. Okay? The key to dealing with inflation is having a flexible portfolio and plan. When making investments or evaluating your existing holdings in, uh, uh, during potentially inflationary times, you need to keep two things in mind. During inflationary times, interest rates go up, and there's also an erosion of purchasing power, which means, again, your money buys less stuff. So what should you avoid? Well, investors get really hammered during inflation um, when, they get, when they lock in into very long-term fixed instruments like CDs, uh, annuities, bonds. And when I talk about long-term, we're talking about 10, 15, 20, even 30 years, okay? These things get really hammered during inflationary, uh, during an inflationary cycle, okay? Uh, and this could definitely be a cause of great concern, especially for today's retirees who have not put together a prudent plan of income and have probably locked in uh, to very long-term instruments in order to get a little higher return in this very low interest rate environment. Okay. The other thing is individual stocks. Although stocks, in in general, over the long term, has have always been a great hedge against inflation. However, what happens with individual stocks is that we shouldn't count on individual stocks because during periods of inflation, uh, we have no idea how that individual company is going to uh, weather the storm of infl inflation or how they're going to be affected uh, during that during that time. Uh, real estate, again in the past, has always been a great hedge against inflation. However, we came from the, the, uh, the uh, popping of the bubble of real estate. So with increased foreclosures, uh, pressures on pricing, and uh, all those many of the many variables that come for real estate, I am not really sure if real estate can hold up this time. Uh, during an inflationary cycle. But of course, as I always say to people is, hey, if you own a home, you need some place to live anyways. So continue owning your home until in the future, until things might get better. Uh, the other thing is with gold and precious metal, additionally. You know, uh, that gold and precious metals, again, have always been a good hedge against inflation. However, this time around, with the meteoric rise in prices of, of, of gold, as well as as well as other precious metals, I'm not really sure how much more legs it might have in the future. Okay, So what should be in your portfolio? Well, when it comes to investing, no matter in what environment you're in, one has to keep in mind that it, that it is only a plan that will help you uh, have a true measure of your success. Although we know that there are certain investments that are poised to do well during an inflationary cycle, we don't want to over evaluate or make short-term decisions that will have a long-term effect on our financial picture. At all times, prudent, globally diversified, low-cost portfolio allocated over, of, uh, over a variety of short-term fixed income and variety of stock indexes tilted towards small cap and value stack stocks over the long term has proven to be a great hedge against inflation. In addition, if you are retired and are generating income por for your portfolio uh, to maintain your current standard of living, you have to make sure that you have the right plan that will allow you to continue taking the appropriate amount of income, especially inflation protected income during any economic environment, whether we have inflation or not. Basically, this approach to proper income distribution planning revolves around putting together a plan that uses multiple investments divided into multiple time frames and some sort of income guarantees. 
This approach strategically combines shifting risk and investments to achieve reliability of income and better be able to manage your emotions at retirement. Folks, like I said before, you only get one chance at retirement. You need to get it right and you need to find a financial advisor, a coach that can demonstrate expertise in retirement income planning. It may require you to change advisors, but that's fine because that's no different than changing doctors uh, when your current doctor can't treat your condition. Remember, retirees, that you don't go to Publix with your financial statement, no matter how nice your financial statement looks. You go to Publix with your checkbook. Your life savings are at risk here, so you've got to make sure to get it right and have the right plan. Catch you next time on Financial QB TV.